Hey what's up you guys this is Akilan from Akilan Tech and today I am going to tell you about the eSIM technology and how does it work and what are the pros and cons of the eSIM technology so let's get started first of all we can see this eSIM in the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL and also in the Samsung Galaxy Gear S3 watch and also in the Apple Watch Series 3 watches and the uh, eSIM technology is the future technology first I will tell you what is SIM SIM means subscribers identity module and in this SIM we'll have the IMSI code IMSI means international mobile subscribers identity it is a unique identity means we cannot see the same identity in different phones and in this SIM we'll, we'll also have the IMEI code IMEI means international mobile equipment identity if you want to know the imei code of your phone in your dialer type star hashtag 06 hashtag you can see this number on the screen that is star hashtag 06 hashtag by typing this code in your dialer you can see the imei code of your sim in your mobile this is meant by sim if you go to the e sim e means embedded or electronic some persons will call it as embedded and some people will call it as electronic both are same don't be confused both are same electronic sim or embedded sim we cannot see this e sim in our mobile we can see the physical sim in our mobile if we want to insert or remove the sim in our mobile we can see the sim but we cannot see the e sim in our mobile because it is fixed in the motherboard of your mobile the sim and e sim both do same work they are same don't be confused both are same they do the same work they get the signals from the cell phone towers this is meant by the eSIM now we will see the pros and cons of the eSIM technology first if you see the pros of the eSIM technology the major plus point of this eSIM technology is the SIM size we can see that so many SIMs came here from first we got the SIM then, then micro SIM and then nano SIM and now the eSIM compare the eSIM with the nano SIM it is less than 40 percent the nano SIM the eSIM is less than the 40 percent that than the nano sim and this is a major plus point for the manufacturers as the e sim is very small the manufacturers can use this extra space as the e sim is small we can see the extra space the manufacturers of the companies use this extra space for improving the ba battery capacity or adding the 3.5 mm jack or in different or for the different reasons we can see this e sim in the watches also actually the watch is small if we add the physical sim into the watch the space will be wasted so in the watches they will use the e sim technology and the next plus point of this e sim technology is that no need of sim ejector tool uh, we can see this sim ejector tool in our boxes in the phone boxes as it is very small you can see it is very small we may lose it anyway so we cannot remove the sim again again we have to buy it so it's a waste of time so with the help of e sim technology we doesn't need the sim ejector tool and the third place point of this e sim technology is when somebody stolen our phone or if, if our phone is lost and somebody have caught the phone first they will try to remove the sim we cannot remove the e sim as it is switched in the motherboard we cannot open the phone and see the motherboard and remove the small e sim so we cannot remove the sim in, in this e sim technology and we can track the phone signals but if the people who have caught this phone is very intelligent you will try to switch off the phone or if you keep in the airplane mode then we cannot track the phone signals and the next plus point of this eSIM technology is if you go to another country from India or if you from another region we have to change the sim in another country so the same things same sims will not work in another country so you have to change the sim but with the help of this eSIM no need of changing the sim only we have to change the network of the sim and for buying the new sim we have to go to the office but no need to go to office or the manufacturer's office or the company's office for this eSIM technology we have to only install the app if we see if if we want the airtel or geo the my airtel app my geo app or the different companies different providers we have to install the app and directly from the app we can activate and get the plans and we can use the sim and we cannot see the eSIM technology in all points the network provider has to enable the eSIM technology for the providers for example in India we are having only the Jio and Airtel service providers have been enabled the eSIM support the another providers like Vodafone, Idea etc have still not been enabled the eSIM support so the, we cannot use this Idea, Vodafone etc service providers we cannot use the eSIM support only we can use the Airtel and Jio in India and its eSIM technology has been famous by the iPhone XS Max we can see this eSIM support in the iPhone XS Max so the actually the iPhone XS Max came with 
iOS 12.0 out of the box. In this iOS 12.0, the eSIM technology has not been enabled. In the iOS 12.1 update, which has been released recently, in this iOS 12.1 update, the eSIM technology has been enabled. And these are the plus points of the eSIM technology. If we go to the cons of this eSIM technology, the only one con is there. Only one con is there. That is also the major disadvantage of this eSIM technology is the if our phone is damaged or by chance our phone has been fallen down and cannot be used, we cannot remove the SIM. Now presently, if our phone has been damaged, we can remove the SIM and use it in another phone and we can use the phone. But with the help of the eSIM technology, we cannot use the SIM. At least as the SIM is fixed in the motherboard, when our phone is damaged, the phone is gone and the SIM, the phone numbers which are stored in the SIM has been gone. We have to again refeed it and it will be a very long process. So the, this is a disadvantage of the eSIM technology. We cannot remove the SIM and we cannot use, use it in another phone. So by this video, I think you have got the idea about the eSIM technology. So if you find this video is informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below and don't forget to subscribe my channel. This is Akilan signing off. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.